contract chip maker TSMC has announced a 30% decline in net profit in the first quarter. Net profit was better than expected at 206 billion NT, but it was still down 30% from the previous quarter. Earnings per share landed at 7.89 NT. The chipmaker expects weak demand to linger into the second quarter, but sees sales picking up in the second half of the year. During its Thursday earnings call, the company also addressed reports of a delay at its Kaohsiung project. At its virtual earnings call, TSMC announced consolidated revenue of 508.63 billion NT for the first quarter, a quarterly decline of 18.7 percent. Net profit tumbled 30 percent to 206.9 billion NT, with earnings per share landing at 7.89 NT. Gross margin for the quarter was 56.3 percent. TSMC projected a slow second quarter due to inventory adjustments, with recovery to start only in the second half of the year. It revised its annual U.S. dollar revenue forecast, projecting a drop of 1 to 6 percent. We believe we are passing through the button of the cycle of TSMC business in the second quarter. In the second half of this year, it is expected to be stronger than the first half. So our customers' demand for N3 exceeds our ability to supply N3 to be fully utilized in 2023. Citing strong demand for 3 nanometer chips and a positive outlook on future expansion, TSMC said it would maintain capital spending between 32 billion and 36 billion US dollars this year. TSMC also addressed concerns about its projects in Kaohsiung. It said it would continue to invest in Taiwan, but would switch from 28 nanometer chips to more advanced processes. Our fab construction continues. If we build 28 nanometer, probably it won't be uh, financially feasible, just to uh, become a more advanced node, which we are still in shortage. TSMC says it faces challenges in the year ahead, including high costs for overseas expansion, constraints in production capacity and inflation. A 17 percent rise in April's electricity costs is expected to cut annual gross profit margin by 0.5 percent. Over in the U.S., TSMC has applied for 15 billion U.S. dollars in subsidies and is negotiating disclosure requirements with authorities. Its German expansion plans are still under evaluation, it said. We are engaging with customers and partners to evaluate the possibility of building a specialty fab focusing on automotive-specific technologies based on the demand from customers. Reports say TSMC plans to expand in the German state of Saxony. During a visit to Taiwan, Saxony's Minister of Science declined to comment directly on the matter. Of course, we are welcoming everybody who is interested in investing. I'd say we are well prepared for everybody. Well, we have everything in infrastructure there, what is necessary. TSMC is staying cautious as it navigates strong industry headwinds. But with countries the world over vying for its advanced technology, it's still in position to maintain its global market share.